DJs on the Run, the established professionals. Music for all occasions, anywhere in Michigan. Give them a call today at 327-3716. That's Paul and Doris over in Muskegon, 231-327-3716. The established professionals, they've been around for 40 years. They've done everything. So if you need that special wedding done, that outdoor wedding done, if you need that special event done, these are the guys that can do it. 40 years experience, the established professionals, DJs on the run. Give them a call right now at 231-327-3716. Grease Monkeys of Montague. Auto, RV, truck repair, on-site RV boat storage. They do it all. One mile north of the world's largest weather vane at 9588 U.S. Highway 31 in Montague. They also have bike rentals for that beautiful scenic bike trail. Give them a call today at 715-2222. That's 231-715-2222. Or email grease.monkeys at comcast.net. Grease Monkeys of Montague. Auto, RV, truck repair, on-site RV and boat storage. Plus, great specials monthly. Check them out. Call 231-715-2222. Go see Chris Dykema today. She's a realtor at Green Rich Realty, located at 323 East Colby Street in Whitehall, or email her at her email address located on your screen. If you're looking for property in the White Lake area, Chris is the one to call. Call her today at 231-981-3906. That's 231-981-3906. Miller's Oil & Lube Express is locally owned and serves the White Lake area quality mobile oils. Bring your car or truck into Miller's on Colby Street in Whitehall for a full-service oil change lube and filter. Miller's Oil & Lube Express, open six days a week to keep you running right. Part of the Historical Society for Saginaw County. For 28 years and 5,000 miles, we've been going out and uh, going on the routes. The, uh, so we're going to go to the west end of the lake and paddle back here and make a landing uh, during the boat festival. And uh, then we're setting up camp now so that uh, anybody coming through has something to look out, uh, look at the canoe and. Uh, the tents and we talk about the, the fur trade which was the big business of the Great Lakes for 200 years. Came out of Montreal and uh, Ottawa River and came into northern Lake Huron and Mackinac and then back and then it moved further west Green Bay and Grand Portage at the west end of Lake Superior and so we've been retracing those routes we were kind of the teamsters of the time, the, the, the haulers of the trade goods. And uh, so the, when the French came, they didn't go try to kill everybody and steal. And the conquistadors went to the southwest and, you know, killed Montezuma. Champlain had a different approach. He tried to make trading partners of the tribes. And it kind of jumped them from being in the Stone Age to uh, with flint for knives to being in the Iron Age. And uh, so it, it advanced their culture Got it. Uh, for a time, the tribes, you know, they were very pleased with it. And getting the, the furs uh, to make uh, felt for, especially for top hats, for the big hats. The, in Europe, that was all the rage. They killed off all their beaver already, so the finding beaver here. The native would go, wow, where's the catch here? 
I have to kill the beaver, eat the meat, and give you the fur, and you give me copper pots, and you give me wool blankets, which are much warmer than the skins, uh, and I don't have to use uh, f uh, flint to as a knife. I can have uh, an iron blade that'll last forever. Wow! So it was a win-win situation for both sides. And that uh, fur trade uh, got the furs back to Europe, and uh, people in London and Paris were thrilled with uh, having the supply so they could have this. I don't, I don't have one here to show you, but we have many in our, in our group uh, of the felt hat. Of course, what goes on there is, as people probably know, it was the hatter who used uh, mercury in the process uh, and got it into their bodies and they had a little poisoning going on they became mad as hatters. Uh, but the supply for years, and you wanted to have one of these hats because if you were walking down the street in Paris or London, somebody would throw a chamber, into the chamber pot out uh, on the street. And, uh, you wanted to have a good rain hat when that happened. And so these, these, these felt hats, the top hats, the, the wide-brimmed hats were very, with a rage for uh, uh, a very long time. Okay. And it, it made uh, a lot of wealth in, uh, out of Montreal and in Michigan. And, uh, made Mackinac famous for a long time. Yeah. So we've been retracing those routes doing sections at a time, like going from Saginaw to Mackinac, Traverse City to Mackinac. We've come about every which way that you could come to Mackinac. We, we, we usually have 10, 12 paddling. We got 11 here right now uh, for this uh, festival. We're really looking forward to seeing uh, the wooden boats, the antique boats. We've uh, been in a couple other boat shows. But mostly we're going out and doing it. We're do, uh, doing the routes, and uh, um, so it's, it's, it should be a, a nice day and a good experience. And glad to come over to White Lake and meet some people. So, any questions? Oh, we're, we're hoping it's going to be a nice day, right? Yeah. Well, I, I think there might be some showers or some thunderstorms in the afternoon, but okay. we've, we've been through those types of experiences. So. It's not. It's not for everybody. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are, just have interest in history. Uh, Mike's an attorney that works in my court. Uh, and uh, Howard is retired from um, the school system in Saginaw Township. And he does maintenance at our court. And uh, then we also have another attorney in the group this, this evening, we have about four attorneys, uh, several teachers. Um, the, the real voyagers would be 18, 20 years old. We're kind of older and retired, but. But how, how did you get involved in all this? What, uh, who, who mostly came up people, with Mostly tent. people had, had an interest in history. Well, the, the director of the Historical Society for Saginaw County uh, started out the group and got. Uh, he uh, got a purchase of a Montreal Patre canoe, a 35-foot fur trade canoe. So the, the basic thing is they took the native canoe and just made it larger to haul more and more stuff. They, they even had a 50-footer that went on the Great Lakes. Wow. And uh, so that was his idea. The Saginaw connection to this was that the French government in Montreal would take their cut. They'd tax this business process uh, by selling a license to permit going into the interior to, uh, to, to, to do this fur trade. So the company, the business, uh, would hire the, the people to go out and do the paddling and the hauling and the portaging. And, um, the, they would set out from Montreal on a summer long trip out to Mackinac, drop off the trade goods, bring the beaver pelt back. And uh, 
The half the furs that got back to Montreal were black market. Um, so they, did, they didn't have a license. And um, you wouldn't want to go near Mackinac. They, they, you, could, you, could, you could get through Saginaw and the Saginaw River system and the Grand River system uh, near St. Charles with a portage, but they kept it secret. They didn't, people would go there, oh, I want to go through, no, 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 the mosquitoes are going to be so bad, you're going to get malaria, oh, it's really bad. So these people were called the Corps de Bois, the runners of the woods. They were kind of the illegal trade, and that's our connection. We're kind of we're kind of the renegade uh, sorts. Okay. And uh, so that's that's how we got out and started started doing that was the recognizing that we had a relationship to um, fur trade that the French were in the Saginaw area, but they they weren't necessarily recorded. Quality car detailing, complete interior and exterior cleaning, the detail professionals. Go see Mark Rogers today at 8127 Whitehall Road in Whitehall or give him a call at 894-6475. Mark Rogers has been doing it for years. He is the detail professional. He does a lot of the cars for cruising. Complete interior and exterior cleaning, it's quality car detailing. Go see Mark today, 894-6475. 8127 Whitehall Road in Whitehall. Right behind Cars Auto Repair. Go see Amanda at the Vintage Salon at 8736 Ferry Street in Montague. Or call 231-893-4999 for your next appointment. Or visit on their website at www.thevintagesalon.com or the Vintage Salon at live.com. It's the Vintage Salon. Go see Amanda today at 8736 Ferry Street in Montague. Amanda will make sure you look your very best. For all your collision needs, call White Lake Collision, your family-owned body shop. Go see Ken today at 8198 Whitehall Road in Whitehall. Or give him a call at 894-4340. That's 894-4340. Give Ken a call. White Lake Collision, your family-owned body shop. Take care of all your needs. Give you a fair estimate and take care of it quickly. Give him a call today at 894-4340. Wireless Zone in downtown Whitehall and also in Fremont. Buy more accessories, save more. Buy any one, get 10% off. Buy any two, get 20% off. Buy any three, get 30% off. Wireless Zone in Whitehall at 1315 Colby Street, Suite B. Give them a call at 894-0332. Fremont, 104 West Main Street. Give them a call at 335-2336. Wireless Zone. Go see him today, your Verizon dealer. Owner and operator Bob Yonkman is your White Lake Electronics Radio Shack dealer at 511 East Kobe Street in Whitehall. Go see him today or give him a call at 894-2469. White Lake Electronics. With all your Radio Shack needs, computer repair, just about everything you need. 
for electronics at White Lake Electronics. Give Bob a call today, 894-2469. For a fantastic place to eat, try The Dive Restaurant and Bakery at 620 East Colby Street in Whitehall or call 231 894-2999. That's 894-2999. The Dive. So no no floorboard, huh? Uh, Oh, yeah, we got a carpet. Oh, you got a a carpet for it? Oh, okay. (laughs) Now you got shag or? No, no, it's a a tight Berber. Yeah. gonna hold up. Oh yeah. Doesn't matter, we're here. We're <laughs> do it. Right. Ryan with that camo coat and make you feel like you did blind? I don't hunt out of blind. You're a stalker. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> you're a stalker or you're a tree man. Damn boy. It's just a crude uh, 10 by 10 canvas sail operated by sticks and ropes, a little fashion way. It's okay in a mild wind, but a hard wind. Yeah. You're fighting it. So you're, you're holding it all the way. Okay. It gets a little tense. Uh, a few years ago, we went across Whitefish Bay from point to point in two hours and 15 minutes with the sail. I get it. That was my first year, and I was a, we call the first first year people pilgrims until they're initiated into the group. They didn't tell me the pilgrims had to use the sail. So I didn't get to enjoy the ride at all. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's Grill and Pizzeria. Takeout available. They cater parties and weddings. You can give them a call right now at 231-893-3000 or visit on the website at www.samsgrill.com. Sam's Grill and Pizzeria. Great appetizers, soups and salads, pasta dishes, steaks and chops, burgers and sandwiches, subs, and of course, great pizza. Give them a call today. Sam's Grill and Pizzeria. 231-893-3000. Mmm, mmm. Call today. 
Sears Hometown Store, locally owned and operated by Stephen L. Myers over at 1321 West Colby Street in Whitehall. Go see Stephen today or give him a call at 893-1241. Great stuff over at Sears. You can get washer, dryer, that microwave, maybe some great craftsman tools. Go see Stephen today at 1321 West Colby Street in Whitehall. Sears Hometown Store, locally owned and operated. The Wayside Bar and Grill on Old 31 in Montague has, I think, the best burrito around and feature freshwater walleye, whitefish, bluegill, and perch. They also feature great specials Monday through Friday. And don't forget about Taco Tuesday. Great place to meet your friends and have a marvelous meal along with a beverage or two and maybe a game of pool. The Wayside Bar and Grill. Go see them today. Oh, not at all. I'm the only one that ever got yelled at to pick up the pain. It's a three hour tour, right? Comment allez-vous, mon ami? Are we ready to go?
Quality car detailing, complete interior and exterior cleaning, the detail professionals. Go see Mark Rogers today at 8127 Whitehall Road in Whitehall or give him a call at 894-6475. Mark Rogers has been doing it for years. He is the detail professional. He does a lot of the cars for cruising. Complete interior and exterior cleaning. It's quality car detailing. Go see Mark today, 894 64 75 8127 Whitehall Road in Whitehall. Right behind Cars Auto Repair. San Marcos Mexican Restaurant Bar and Grill. Go see him today at 3001 Colby Street, Suite E, right next to Save a Lot in Whitehall. Or give him a call at 894 2000. That's 894 2000. Great authentic Mexican food. Not to mention some pretty good margaritas. San Marcos. Authentic Mexican restaurant, bar, and grill. Check them out today. Also get one of the VIP gold cards. Ten meals, get the 11th one free. Go see them today at 3001 Colby Street in Whitehall. Serving West Michigan for over 100 years. Standard supply and lumber and standard kitchens. Go see Todd at 9760 North US 31 in Montague. Or give him a call. 893-1615. Toll free 800 800- 568-1381 or check them out online at www.standardlumber.com Standard Lumber, over a hundred years experience, they've got everything they've got lumber, they've got supplies whether you're a contractor or you're a putter around the house, Standard Lumber has everything you need For a fantastic place to eat, try the Dive Restaurant and Bakery at 620 East Colby Street in Whitehall or call 231 231- 894-2999. That's 894-2999. The Dive. Lying around the city disrepair, and they were going to trash it or burn it. My dad, who worked there as a ship's carpenter, said, Can I have that boat? What's left of it? I said, Sure. So then he took it home and put it down. He worked on it and he rebuilt it in the bottom of my grandparents' house where we were living at the time. You, could, you always can find Johnsons that run like that because they didn't have a water pump. You won't find any running Evanwood because the water pumps are all shot. When you go forward, um, water is forced. Into the into the engine it goes up. It doesn't require a pump, and therefore you can run it. I has had it running in the garage at home. Thank you. So it's been yeah, it's been fun to have it. Yeah, I guess. A lot of history too, eh? Yes.
Huntington down to uh, down to uh, uh, Dearborn and took part in the 100th anniversary celebration. Ford was really glad they did it because uh, uh, they got a lot of really favorable publicity out of it because the, the cars, uh, a lot of those cars were really early cars, most of them Model T's, and they all made it. <laughs> so, they didn't make it fast, but they made it. I got to feel them both a little bit. Probably didn't go on the express over there. But uh, they're basically tires. Yeah, they make those, uh, they make those, uh, I've never had it working. Oh, okay. I well, thought about putting a generator on it, making it work a little bit. Then I got to run it a little bit faster. Oh, okay. So in order to make it run like that, I just uh, I just sit there and loafs. <laughs> Hit and miss. There you go. The puller got the pump jack. Uh, and this one is uh, Aero Motors uh, auxiliary windmill engine. We both meant to pump water. That was very appreciative. Go see the Golden Monkey today. If you love antiques, this is the place to go. If your furniture needs to be reupholstered, this is also the place to go. If you need some woodworking done, the Golden Monkey, the place to go. Antique mall, upholstery, woodworking, it's the Golden Monkey at 8725 Water Street in Montague. That's 8725 Water Street in Montague or call 231-893-2888. The Golden Monkey. Go see Amanda at the Vintage Salon at 8736 Ferry Street in Montague. Or call 231-893-4999 for your next appointment. Or visit on their website at www.thevintagesalon.com or the Vintage Salon at live.com. It's the Vintage Salon. Go see Amanda today at 8736 Ferry Street in Montague. Amanda will make sure you look your very best. The Wayside Bar and Grill on Old 31 in Montague has, I think, the best burrito around and feature freshwater walleye, whitefish, bluegill, and perch. They also feature great specials Monday through Friday. And don't forget about Taco Tuesday. Great place to meet your friends and have a marvelous meal along with a beverage or two. And maybe a game of pool. The Wayside Bar and Grill. Go see them today. In the heart of West Michigan, nestled among huge shoreline sand dunes of Lake Michigan, you will find two small historic waterfront towns, Montague and Whitehall. The area has long been a favorite of boaters and vacationers. This geographic layout makes it ideal for boaters fishing opportunities where you can tube, canoe, raft, kayak, fish, miles of Lake Michigan beaches covered in soft sugar beach sand stretch along the shoreline, to lakefront cottages and resorts, to a variety of motels, hotels, and campgrounds. A shopping experience is sure to be found in the quaint and charming gift shops and antique stores where there are many treasures for one and all. The White Lake Area Chamber of Commerce and Travel Information Center is located on the causeway between the two towns of Montague and Whitehall. The chamber operates full-time and year-round. They will also send free information on their special spot in West Michigan where you can escape the hustle and bustle. White Lake, where you can shop, dine, play, stay.
Congratulations. win toward the very end and uh, made it a little bit easier, but I think we made good time. And it's uh, beautiful sights. Uh, a lot of people waiting for you at the Eagles. We we waited there and we waited. We weren't sure you were coming. Uh, we, we run on Voyageur time. <laughs> it's not the time on your Greenwich Mean time. That's right, that's right. Hey, good to be part of it, sir. Terrific. Say bon, very good. Merci beaucoup. Come back out here and then back. Well, can we pull the new out of the water here? So that's going to be across the river. Say la 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 so this is so just use your mouth, you know, for a set of instruments, and they would dance and clap and use spoons. For all your collision needs, call White Lake Collision, your family-owned body shop. Go see Ken today at 8198 Whitehall Road in Whitehall, or give him a call at 894-4340. That's 894-4340. Give Ken a call, White Lake Collision, your family-owned body shop. Take care of all your needs, give you a fair estimate, and take care of it quickly. Give him a call today at 894-4340. Owner and operator Bob Yankman is your White Lake Electronics Radio Shack dealer at 511 East Kobe Street in Whitehall. Go see him today or give him a call at 894-2469. White Lake Electronics. With all your Radio Shack needs, computer repair, just about everything you need for electronics at White Lake Electronics. Give Bob a call today, 894-2469. Wireless Zone in downtown Whitehall and also in Fremont. Buy more accessories, save more. Buy any one, get 10% off. Buy any two, get 20% off. Buy any three, get 30% off. Wireless Zone in Whitehall at 1315 Colby Street, Suite B. Give them a call at 894-0332. Fremont, 104 West Main Street. Give them a call at 335-2336. Wireless Zone. Go see him today, your Verizon dealer. DJs on the run, the established professionals. Music for all occasions, anywhere in Michigan. Give them a call today at 327-3716. That's Paul and Doris over in Muskegon, 231-327-3716. The established professionals, they've been around for 40 years. They've done everything. So if you need that special wedding done, that outdoor wedding done, if you need that special event done, these are the guys that can do it. 40 years experience, the established professionals, DJs on the run. Give them a call right now at 231-327-3716. Grease Monkeys of Montague. Auto, RV, truck repair, on-site RV boat storage. They do it all. One mile north of the world's largest weather vane at 9588 U.S. Highway 31 in Montague. They also have bike rentals for that beautiful scenic bike trail. Give them a call today at 715-2222. That's 231-715-2222. Or email grease.monkeys at comcast.net. Grease Monkeys of Montague.
Montague, auto, RV, truck repair, on-site RV and boat storage, plus great specials monthly. Check them out. Call 231-715-2222. <laughs> Which way you want to go, Gouverneur? Bow, bow. Okay. Not back talk, back stroke. Now I know. You're going to do this whole Pull away. Now we're picking up some speed. Now we're that. And also when we're in the fuel for fuel. Water coming. Ramming speed. <laughs> Put one across his bow. <laughs> Anywhere you want to wander. Oh, wait. 
Go see Chris Dykema today. She's a realtor at Green Rich Realty, located at 323 East Colby Street in Whitehall, or email her at her email address located on your screen. If you're looking for property in the White Lake area, Chris is the one to call. Call her today at 231-981-3906. That's 231-981-3906. Miller's Oil & Lube Express is locally owned and serves the White Lake area quality mobile oils. Bring your car or truck into Miller's on Colby Street in Whitehall for a full service oil change lube and filter. Miller's Oil & Lube Express, open six days a week to keep you running right. Sam's Grill and Pizzeria. Takeout available. They cater parties and weddings. You can give them a call right now at 231-893-3000 or visit on the website at www.samsgrill.com. Sam's Grill and Pizzeria. Great appetizers, soups and salads, pasta dishes, steaks and chops, burgers and sandwiches, subs, and of course, great pizza. Give them a call today. Sam's Grill and Pizzeria. 231-893-3000. Mmm, mmm. Call today. Sears Hometown Store, locally owned and operated by Stephen L. Myers over at 1321 West Colby Street in Whitehall. Go see Stephen today or give him a call at 893-1241. Great stuff over at Sears. You can get washer, dryer, that microwave, maybe some great craftsman tools. Go see Stephen today at 1321 West Colby Street in Whitehall. Sears Hometown Store, locally owned and operated. The next code is Noel and Amy uh, Harrington, the, uh, the, um, the Dory here, the Blue Dory, and Noel's down there. And, uh, the car? and they've oh, also uh, helped huh? with uh, the free and bought everything else. We might give it back. I don't know. We've got lots of money. So we've got one there. We've got to figure something to make a collage. And then uh, Ray and Jackie Hill have, uh, they have two boats here. Uh, the Grand Banks out here in the water, and also the, um, what I want to say, Truscott. the Truscott <laughs> launch uh, pulled by the uh, the old Ford wagon over here. Uh, they have two vessels here, so Ray, get your things here if you haven't got them. Doug Kniff, is Doug stay, or did I see him pulling away with his truck or someone else, or? Okay, uh, Doug is on the lake here. He had the 13-foot the, uh, lineman with the black hull sides up here, and also he has the barrel back, the 17-foot 1940 Chris Craft out here. We'll catch up with him later. Uh, Noel and Amy also have the stainless outboard here, kind of thing, so let's recognize them for that. Uh, that boat that is awarded, which was sort of an unusual. They, uh, how many did they make, Noel? 
80. 80 of them. And uh, of course, stainless was more expensive than aluminum. So that has its usual. Uh, okay, Dwayne and Sylvia Sieber have the cabin launch out here, and Dwayne is around here someplace. There he is from North Muskegon. Okay. Uh, who has the... Oh, uh, Dwayne, you also have the 1960 glass bar out there. Okay, yeah. Uh, 12 footer, uh, sort of an unusual boat. And uh, sort of, what, 1960, sort of at the beginning of the fiberglass area, really, wasn't it? Very much so. Uh, uh, Doug had the barrel back Christmas. He's gone, Doug Kniff. And then we have another boat, uh, 1958 Mac Bay. Uh, belonging to Terry Petrowski. Terry's around here, I think, isn't he? Yeah. And uh, Terry uh, has a lot of history on that company. It was a small company, uh, sort of uh, was in the Muskegon area for quite a while. Started in Holland and moved to the Muskegon area. And uh, Mac Bay um, was a name that came from what? Mac Bay down by uh, oh, Holland, or Holland, right? Okay, Macintosh. And what was it? The 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 Chrysler Plymouth Dodge dealer, what? Dobbin Motors, had handled those boats at one time, and so forth. So that was sort of an interesting thing. Okay, now we have some special awards. <coughs> Award uh, sponsored by Ray and Jackie Hill. And so, uh, Dwayne's uh, 19, I've been looking, what was the year here, 1915 cabin launch uh, met that category. So, uh, that's a, we should track that from uh, 2010, you begin to, or 14, you begin to count the year. Okay, uh, the People's Choice Award, uh, it, was, it was closer this year, but you can't beat uh, Ray and Jackie Hill's launch. Uh, and uh, there, was, there was a couple of posts that did give you a little run for your money this year, though. So, but uh, you can't beat that nice combination. Thank you, uh -huh. Thank you Ray. Ray, did you get your poster? <laughs> Okay. okay, the next boat is the committee's choice. We narrowed it down to two boats, uh, and uh, it's always a tough decision, but we were down to two boats, and we kept wandering back and forth and, and coming up. But anyway, it's an unusual boat. It's a boat that has a White Lake history, and it's uh, Noel and Amy Harrington's uh, dory. Now this one is really, <laughs> we, we really, this one, we didn't have a, a hard time doing this, but I think you all agree. We had this award for the best non-powered craft, and I thought there were going to be a couple more canoes here today, but they didn't show up, and so forth, and so we finally narrowed this down, and we said, what else could we do but give it to the Voyager's canoe as the best non-powered craft, so uh, that's why I wanted you up here. <laughs> Maybe a first <laughs> <laughs> and so forth. So anyway, uh, that's what we have, and uh, I guess we just want to thank everybody for putting up with the little rain showers and uh, everything else that went on the day and us dodging and and uh, maybe we looked halfway confused at time, but that's what what it's all about and uh, kind of thing and so forth. Uh, the Voyagers. Uh, you know, you all saw them, and uh, they sort of represent uh, era. And I tell you, that guy there, if anybody's a school teacher here, and you got seventh or eighth graders or ninth graders, and you want somebody to give a guest hour lecture on uh, the fur trade thing, he can do the job. I sat with him today talking to him, and uh, he told me some 
pretty interesting stuff that these guys can tell you about what happened back in those days and so forth. So uh, how the, you know, how, what the Indians wanted and the fur trades and uh, and uh, how they didn't go down. I thought they went out the St. Lawrence River mainly, but what was the Iroquois the Indians were, they were the enemies. And so they, you, usually you, you didn't make it past them. So they went the Ottawa River and some of those kind of things. But he can sure give a little history lesson, I'll tell you that, so on it. So, with that, make sure you've got what you had coming, and uh, we'll just sort of, it's not raining, so I guess maybe we can back down and uh, all that kind of thing and unpack, and thank you for coming. Thank you.